Okay, let's get started, and it's that time of the week again when we put what women have been up to, or indeed saying, about other women under the microscope in our feature. It's a woman's world. First up, earlier this week, actress Vanessa Redgrave was given the ultimate accolade from BAFTA when she was awarded a fellowship. When accepting the award from Prince William, Vanessa displayed a rather extravagant curtsy as she stepped onto the stage. The curtsy was so low, it nearly reached the floor. So, uh, as a woman, would you have used the same sort of charm offensive on, on um, Prince William there, Oh, Sherry? Prince William. Oh, well, the thing is, I do think... It you should be able to do a good curtsy, don't you? I think it's nice to do a nice... <laughs> I do, don't you? Yeah. 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 Well, you never know when you might need one. You do need one. <laughs> you never know, but you should have been... How I... do you know what's a good curtsy? Well, because... We think that was a good curtsy. That no, she I don't there. think that was a good curtsy. That was a big curtsy. That was sort of... Ne <laughs> that was a kneel. Was I think knee. she was going to be knighted. <laughs> I thought she was going to be knighted. <laughs> no, I think you have to be quite elegant with curtsying. And, and shall I show you? Yeah. 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 But you've got a good curtsy, Hey, Sharon. I've got a good curtsy. She's a good curtsy. So, so it's uh, you're a step to the side, yeah, and oh. you curtsy. Oh. So you see, now I have to tell you all that I have done that in front of the Queen Mother. Oh, oh, oh yes, and Princess Margaret. Oh. Yes, so I have curtsied to the right people. You have. I don't know why I've gone to Northern, but <laughs> <laughs> I've got Jane McDonald. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Me and my mother <laughs> live in the caravan. <laughs> no, um, caravan? Well, I don't know where Do you give good curtsy? I do, well, I, no, because it's all that curly handy thing. I, I couldn't do what that. What do you do then? Um, Come on, go on, show us. So, I am already standing up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a way to go, not far. Oh, that's not there very we are, I'm at <laughs> I do a sort of a. Oh, oh, hang on. Dear. Oh, oh, dear. Sort of don't really move my legs, just sort of a head bob thing. <laughs> oh, no, that's not very good at all, is but, it? Uh, but if you're meeting like Prince William, who's kind of like a cool younger, yeah. you wouldn't go right down like that, would you? No, I think no, you wouldn't. But you don't do bob. like a drunken stoop like you do. <laughs> it's a bit like, all right, mate. Oh, sort of, I. <laughs> what, uh, what, I, I like have actually met him. with that. So, did you want milk as yes. well? It's, it's, I'm always <laughs> staffed, dear. Always oh, staffed. Oh. I think there's more, there's more about a charm offensive than curtsying, don't you? Yeah. I think it's about... Well, it's like my, number one for me would be pretending to be really interested in the conversation, so nod a lot. So mm -hmm. that's listening. Yeah. You listen. Listening, even yeah. if you're bored rigid. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. thinking I forgot to get the washing out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really interesting. And I, the, but you, I, I, I have curtsied occasionally. Come on, then. Quick. Oh, I'll try. Let's have one. But it's not, you know, it's just like a bit of a... You could just do a bit like that, couldn't yeah. you? No, you don't stick your bum out. I'm not sticking my <laughs> bum out! <laughs> That's just my bum, Sherry! Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, no. Maybe you shouldn't... <laughs> but how would you... I mean, that's how you would... You would charm mere mortals, but how would you charm Prince William if you well, met him? Well, can I say, I have actually met him a okay. couple of times. Ooh. I, I'm a, a patron of a, a charity. He's, no, he's the patron, sorry. <laughs> You're just <star. laughs> sorry. And he's my You're ambassador. you yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an ambassador and he's our patron and he's a brilliant patron. And we had a, an informal dinner at St James's Palace and a few of us were lucky enough to go. And I did meet him and, and um, when I was introduced to him I didn't curtsy or anything and I, he didn't make me feel like I had to and we just had a conversation like he would normally and he's a really lovely young Aww. gentleman and but it was odd because I'm older than him yeah and it was you know you sort of it's you don't quite know how to play yeah, it I because think he's, he, he's not, he is he's nice. very handsome See, maybe, ma maybe he wouldn't be interested in the curtsy just tell him he's hot he'd quite like that yeah yeah, yes. yeah. or give him a bum bow like yes. mine yeah. yes <laughs> he, put, he put the hot into hot HRH. He did. HS. Okay. Something like that. Next up, <laughs> journalist Rowan Pelling has been offering her thoughts again in her weekly advice column. Now, one woman has written to her complaining that her husband falls asleep after sex. <gasps> I sometimes want to kiss, cuddle, or have a bath together. And there he is, snoring away, she said. Uh, Rowan responded by saying, It seems to me that the only thing your husband's guilty of is being a bit inconsiderate or perhaps smelly. Um, <laughs> but do you think women should take offence when men just sort of roll over and fall asleep right away after? Oh, oh, as long as it's after, it's fine. As long fine. as it's after. <laughs> um, <laughs> cheering. Oh. Yeah. Um, what? Doesn't everybody? 
that's what? the whole idea. You could just make me feel comfortable and just go, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's supposed to relax you, isn't it? You know, and, 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 and if you're in a, in a, you know, if you, I keep going about being busy. I'm not that busy, actually. I, but I think if, at the end of the day, and you're tired, yeah. and, um, and I suppose if you're in a hotel and you've got time to kind of shoot yeah. the breeze and have a chat yeah. about it afterwards. But I, think, I think the thing with me is I used to start a conversation, do it, <laughs> and then carry on after. <laughs> I wouldn't bother anyway, so it wouldn't matter. So no wonder I'm not married anymore. That's the thing. And I think, well, for me, I, do, I think it's rude. Don't fall asleep. I want to cuddle, a bit of a chat, and then I want... He's got to stay up at least 15 minutes for, for the second go. Or, actually, <laughs> actually, thank you. I have to say that most of the time they don't fall asleep because of my past experience. They're in the bathroom phoning their other half. <laughs> Time for a break before more thoughts on all things.